there's only one version for this problem, so I'm just going to have to go off of what I have. But Blaise Pascal duplicated a barometer using some wine with a density of 984 kilograms per meters cubed as a working liquid. And we need to find the height of the wine column for normal atmospheric pressure. And so we need to use this equation here. Pressure is equal to liquid pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gravity times the height times the density of the liquid or density of the liquid. And since since we're at the surface of the liquid, it means that the pressure is going to be equal to the atmospheric pressure. The liquid pressure is going to be equal to the atmospheric pressure. So we can rewrite our equation as P0 is equal to GHD. So now we can solve for the height of the wine um, with the density of 984 kilograms. meters cubed write that and we need, we need to find the height we don't know the height and we know that gravity is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared Plugging that in, we have the atmospheric pressure, which is known 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth. And we need to, we can plug that in for P0, and we have 9.8 times height times 984 kilograms per meters cubed. the density of the wine and solving for the height we can divide these two over and we end up getting a value of 1.01 times 10 to the fifth divided by 984 divided by 9.8 we end up getting a value of 10.47 meters high, or 10.5 meters. Now the second part of the problem is asking, would you expect a vacuum above to um, above the column to be as good for mercury? And we can figure that out by knowing the density of mercury, which is about 13.6 grams per centimeters cubed. And if we convert that to kilograms per meters cubed, we end up getting a value of 13,600 And just roughly to show you how I got that, you're going to take this divided by 1,000 because there's 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So that'll get us to kilograms, and then we're going to take that times 100 centimeters in a meter. But we're also going to cube that. So we end up getting 13.6 divided by 1,000 times 100 cubed. We get 13,600 meters per kilogram cubed. So now we can use this value for our density and plug that back into this equation right here. And we end up getting a value. We can solve for height to figure out how good the vacuum would work. So we take 1.01 .01 times 10 to the fifth divided by 9.8 divided by 13,600. We end up getting a height of 0. 76 meters. And as you can see, 
0 0.76 meters is a lot less than 10.47. So that means that the, the vacuum would not work as well because the liquid or the mercury in this vacuum would only go up about this high versus all the way up to 10 meters.